Hey, um, just gonna make this video. This is actually the first, second, no, the, the first time I've made a video, and it's like the second take of it, or whatever. Um, simply because my camera's stupid, and it's not letting me upload videos longer than a certain amount of time. Like, I had one that was like 14 minutes and 17 seconds, I think and the computer automatically shuts off, or the camera shuts off, like I had 20 minutes left, or, tch, shit, alright, I had 20 seconds left of the upload, like, or loading it from my camera to my computer, I guess I need to get either a card reader, or I just want to get a new camera, because, I mean, somewhere in the middle, I don't know where it is, there's like a little purple squiggly thing, I don't know what the hell is going on with that. Um, anyways, so I'm just gonna try and make this video. I'm, last time I went into like way too much detail. Um, maybe at this time I'll just do like a quick overview. And then in the future, if anybody wants me to, like, like if you want me to go into any more detail about any of these lighters, or maybe one catches your eye or something I mean just leave in the comments or message me or something and I'll go into more depth about it but I'm gonna try and keep it shorter this time and not be as long winded I also try not to make a super long video of me just babbling on cause I don't know if people really want to watch that anyways um... I'll make the video and just going along and I'll try and keep it relatively short, as short as I can get it. I'm not going to just speed through, but I will make it snappy. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, let's fix this little guy. There, a little smiling guy for us. Uh, Alright, this is like my first lighter. Um, actually got broke because somebody stepped on it. It's a really good lighter. Has a little visible fuel area there. Um, strong jet torch flame. Um, I don't know how many years I've had it, but it works wonders. Carry that a lot. Next up is another jet flame one. It has two. There, two uh, torches, or it's a double jet flame, you know. Um, but I don't use it because this one over here, it like spills fire over on this side and it like burns your thumb and that's not comfortable at all. It's also like beat up and melted from me doing paracord stuff with it and uh, there used to be a compass there but that's gone because it broke and all that. I mean, it's gotten beaten up, thrown around, hit, smashed, I don't know. It's gone through a lot. One of those cheap Chinese ones from a flea market. This guy that I was working with, he had one and... He just gave it to me uh, about two years ago, and well, almost two years ago. Anyways, um, yeah, I've had it since then, and I don't know, it works good except for burning your thumb. Um, all right, next one, I try to carry this one every day. I usually have my flashlight, which this one, it's like a really cheap ass flashlight, um, except I did the uh, engraving on it. Anyways, has one of those, uh, like, reusable matches where you strike it on the side. I'm thinking of buying, like, I don't know how many more of these, like, three or four or something. And, uh, putting them in survival kits or getting a different kind of lighter. I don't know. I want to have a fuel source. I want to have, like, a thing in my car. I have a thing in a backpack, you know, different things. And I was thinking of using this because then if I run out of fuel then I at least have like a fire steel type setup going on. Alright, next up is this Las Vegas one. Um, it's really roughed up and everything. I got it and it was already kind of scratched up and everything so I carried it. Plus it's a dual flame lighter as you can see. Well, not anymore but it has a torch and a little tiny hole for making a soft flame so it's like a um like a windproof butane soft flame lighter there you go 
which most butane lighters that have a soft flame go out like nothing like this one this is a replica of a ST DuPont and there's the uh, soft butane but there I mean you just shake it a little and let's say you're out in the wind or something and that goes out like it's nothing anyways I got this one from like I got it from Dino Direct. It's actually holding up pretty good. I like it. I carry it. Uh, not every day, but I sometimes carry it to different things. I carry it around the house. Next, I have this. It's one of those little torch ones. It's supposed to be really hot, but I need to fix this sparking mechanism in there, which maybe I'll make a video on how to do that. One of these days, here's another one. I need to fix the sparking mechanism. This one's cool. It has like a jet torch flame right there. And then right there is a hole. When you squeeze this, it lets out fuel. So you have the jet going and then it lets out fuel to make a soft flame. Which makes it a dual flame. Uh, well right here, I don't usually have this with my collection, but it's a uh, lighter that I have to fix like the other ones. Uh, it's shaped like a little pipe, and when you bend it, press down on that, it like lets the fire come out there. It says pipe on there. Just gotta fix that. I thought that was cool. Uh, oh, this Las Vegas one, I actually, the, I've actually used the uh, process I'm gonna fix the other ones with on that one, so I know it works. Alright, this, I bought it because I thought it would be cool to have between my lighters and my knives but then I wanted to try and fix the play on the blade and I lost two screws from in or two springs from inside there so now that's stuck on the outside position and that sucks but then it has the butane uh, fire thinking about just buying another one of these because they're like five or six bucks and they're pretty neat looking um, next up is another one that I'm having trouble with. Uh, the butane just like it shoots out from the bottom when you try to fill it. Um, another one that you strike on the side um, has that little piston thing. I think that's pretty cool. And it was made in some Japanese thing. I forget where it was, but it was like in the 40s or no, the 70s. I think that's when that was made. Um, all right, still got some time. Here's a lipstick lighter. I don't know the manufacturer or the date. I was just told that it was a vintage lighter. Um, doesn't hold incredible amount of fuel, but uh, it definitely... Oh, it does have fuel in it. It's, it's very interesting compared to other lighters that you don't really see them. I mean, it's not even as wide as my finger or anything. So it's a nice little lighter when the fuel actually lights. Anyways, next up, here's one of those cheap slide lighters which I modified to have a gigantic flame. Uh, Dale Jr. lighter, no fuel in it, but I was going to give this to my brother-in-law, but it was broken. I fixed it, but I was going to give it to him for Christmas, and it, I fixed it in January, so I was a little late. So I just have it with my stuff. Next up is a Ronson, and um, made in England. It has an odd-shaped fuel uh, injector area thing. I can't figure out why, or I can't find the right adapter for it, but... It's just a neat little thing. I thought that looked like a Viking helmet, which made it that more awesome. And I'm going to stop the video now and go... Alright, I'm back. Uh, Alright, this is a Continental. It was made in Japan in like the 60s or 70s, somewhere around there. don't really remember where. Somebody told me, but I have forgotten that. Okay. Next up, we have my first butane table lighter, 
vin like antique one I've been looking I've been looking for I don't know how long. And it's not gonna light. And if it's out of fuel I'm gonna go nuts. Because it also has a weird uh, place to put fuel in and I need to find some adapter. When I bought it, it actually had some fuel in it and it has the adjustment knob but you just go like that and you light it and it's like just a nice big chunky uh, thing you just put it there nice and robust. I like it. Plus it was six dollars, I mean made in the 60s uh, in West Germany by the Consul company, I think that's what it is. Alright, so anyways, next I have one and two, count them, two Storm King lighters. Uh, these were, they're like knockoff Zippos, but they're also antique knockoff Zippos. I mean, the quality of the build construction of them, it's far more su superior to present day knockoffs. I mean, these are solid. They're not going to break down on you. And also, I love the, uh, like that just looks awesome in the camera view. I love the uh, etching or engraving. I don't know what that would be called. And then like this one, it just has like a like a cross hatched pattern, if you want to call it that. Okay. Uh, let's go with this one. This is original box, original instruction manual. Um, if I find the date, I'll put like an annotation like over here about what year it is and stuff. Um, Anyways, it's a Golden Rechargeable Electric Lighter. You would take this, and you take those two plugs, you plug it into your wall, let it charge, and then during the day, like whenever you're like lighting a cigarette or whatever, you just, here, you go like that, and there's a little coil in there that heats up, and you light your cigar like that. Um, and there's some nowadays that are uh, what do you call it? They're like USB charged. And I don't know, they just don't look as classy, I don't think. But to each his own, I guess. I mean, I don't know how to fix that when I need to get new batteries for it, which they're like extinct batteries. Um, I'll show my two Zippos now. Got this one. Uh, come it says Danger on one side and Kid D on that side. Um, I've been carrying this for a while, once since I got it. It's from 06. I've only had it for a few months. Uh, but when I do carry it, I'm usually trying to do all the Zippo tricks and everything. Um, and this one, I like the engravings and all that. It's from 96. I mean, the next one I buy will probably be from 86. And then from there and keep going down. Then I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I've shown a review of this on my channel. Uh, got it from Deal Extreme. It actually works really nice. I don't carry it too often just because it's so light. and Or because it's so small I don't want to like lose it somewhere or whatever. I'm just... I don't know. It's so pretty, I don't want to mess it up, I guess. <laughs> okay. Let's put these into view. Next, I'll do my two keychain lighters. This one, the fire extinguisher, which I thought was pretty ironic since fire extinguishers put out fire, and it has a little uh, fire come out the nozzle. Uh, this one's actually pretty old, I was told. I've seen like the same model online. They just didn't have as much like paint and all that, like the wear and tear on it. And then this one's pretty new. Looks like a crab claw. And you take this. I think that looks like a little boxing glove down there. But you take that and you go 
like that. And you got your light. Here you got your fire. Um, I don't know. I thought it was a really unique design. I like crab. It's delicious. And this lighter is pretty neat. I, I like the uh, moving part and all that. thought that was neat. Uh, here, let's do this one first. Let's get it out of the bag first. Alright, this is from the 1960s. It's so a Royal Elsa made in Japan. It has this cameo on it with a two-tone background. Um, I think it's just a beautiful lighter. Um, but there was like a f the fuel line was clogged or something and yeah, it's out of fuel now, but I got to work kind of, but it didn't have like a big flame, but I didn't really want to have it as a one to use all the time. Um, maybe on like special occasions or something, but um it's nice. I, I really, I, I love it. It's just so beautiful to me. I mean, I don't know. Who doesn't like a nice looking lady surrounded by something that can make fire? Next. Oh, and all these are antiques, including the 61. This one is another one made in Japan. Um, and I mean, it has like a patent number on there, which I thought was interesting, because usually, because I heard that Japan doesn't have, like, a patent system. I could be wrong, but it's just what I heard. It's a crown harp, which is, a uh, it's like a symbol of Ireland, I believe. Could be wrong on that. Um, but I, I love the, uh, shape of it, plus I love music, and I thought that was really fitting. So... I just grabbed it. I've only filled it up with fuel a few times just because I want to keep it in nice condition. It's in really, it's really pretty condition right now. And there's barely any scratches, any, anything. I mean, up on the top, there's a little bit of residue from flint. But other than that, it's in great condition as well as having the original box, I think, is awesome. And there's a little made in Japan thing again. Okay. Next is these little ones. Here is my miniature gun lighter, which most people think a flame would come out there, but instead it comes out there, which I to was really on it. Uh, like, when I picked it up at the antique store I went to to get it, I went in, I, I pulled the trigger, I mean, it surprised me, but I've taken it to people and they're like, oh wow, that's a cool little gun. Like, does it actually shoot and everything? I'm like, oh yeah, look, and I like aim it at somebody and I pull the trigger and it lights up. Um, well, I don't aim it at somebody, but I like aim in their direction, but whatever. Anyways, uh, just coolness. And then this little tiny one. I think this one is just so cool because of its small size and you put the fuel in there and well, it says the patent is pending it's made in the USA by the Aladdin lighter company to use it you would flip this up and then you get there's that let me see if I can show it cause if I bring it in close it looks crappy god I need a new camera there, you can kind of see next to the purple stupidity uh, that it has that little bump there. That's the wick. And then over on this side, you have a little wheel. And you just flick it like that, and it lights up. And you close it like that to keep stuff from getting on your wick. It's a little, uh, I think they're called like Peabody lighters or... Um, Oh, they're just, they're just little tiny lighters. Uh, anyways, that's my lighter collection. And I think, unless I'm missing one, which that's a definite possibility. But I am getting another one soon. And um, I'm, 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 I'm trying to wrap this up. So, yeah, have a nice day.